listen my rice and peas are got turn up my rice and peas are got turn up Well gone, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching for the very first time, my name is Stacia and I go by Namaste on Instagram. So if you're interested in keeping up with my day to day life, connect with me over there on the gram. If you are new here, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe if you care, and turn on your post notification so that you can be notified whenever I have a new upload. So, as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be doing another day in the life. So, I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update. Like two nights ago, we had like a massive earthquake in Japan, it was like 8.1. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? It was pretty big it was in the middle of the night it was like 11 something in the night that happened and i was scared as hell the house was shaking and i live alone i live alone in addition to that i sleep in little to nothing because it's so humid well not humid it's not that humid anymore but it's hot right so imagine at 11 something in the night you're on the phone kicking it with your friends and the apartment just starts to shake like intense shaking took place uh but that's not the, the 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 highlight of the story or anything so the day after i had work so i'm there minding my own business i went i was going to the train station when i got there i noticed that the trains weren't running so i was like how am i going to get to work what's happening no i've had or i've experienced earthquakes here before but i've never experienced an earthquake that caused train delays that's new for me and according to all the news reports that i read you know this was the strong probably one of the strongest earthquakes japan has had since 2011 that's scary and for me it's like that is a sign from the heavens that i really need to get the hell up out of here because i really don't want to i don't i never want to be in a country where a natural disaster takes place where it's massive or devastating and I don't wish it on anybody, period. But I do not want to be in a country where I do not speak the language that is predominantly spoken. So I definitely need to hurry up on that exit plan so I can get the hell out of Japan. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. So I went to the train and I went to insert clips on my Instagram story. This is why y'all need to follow me on Instagram. Because Instagram was late as hell on Friday. I was dying. Anyways, so I went to the train station. The lines were extremely long. It was ram packed. Trains were like 50 minutes delayed. Apparently, there was an earthquake. Some train um, lines were disrupted. And I guess they had to do their due diligence by checking to see if lines were good enough for, for usage. So I'm at the train station minding my own business. And this is not new to me. So whenever there is at rush hour or delays in train like people tend to cram themselves or push themselves on train so much so that they have persons or people who are designated to pushing people inside the train here that is actual an actual thing here but there's this one lady her and her husband <laughs> oh my god her and her husband were trying so desperately to get on this train and i'm going to insert the clip right here or over here and sis and her husband like to be honest it wasn't her it wasn't her it was her husband insisting that she get on the train there was no way she was going to make it on the train but he was adamant that he was taking this train and she was coming with him long story short they didn't make the trip make it on the train and he was mad as fuck um, excuse my language but yeah that took place and that was scary but at the same time like my instagram was like because people were heavy in my dms laughing and you were having a jolly good time over there on instagram i still have like a lot of dms i have not responded to like it was lit you know what? lit it was lit anyway so today we have a few errands to run um i'm going to go to yokosuka i have to go by abdul's uh barbershop in Yokosuka I'm gonna plug him later on when I get to him uh, I also have to see destiny I need to collect a few things 
and I want to run a few other errands today. I'm actually not in the mood to do anything. Today's the only day I have off. Tomorrow I have my part-time job. So I really wanted to just chill at home and, and relax. But that ain't gonna happen today. So we're gonna have to work with the flow. This has been a very long intro. Anyways, guys, let's get into the festivities. I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Tell them uh, about your business. Oh man. Um everybody, I'm Abdul. Uh I've been here in Japan for about 15 years now and uh too damn long. As you can see, I run a barbershop here in Yokosuka, Japan. Um so anybody out there that's trying to get cut that's just new or can't find a good barber, look no further. I'll leave his Instagram in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can check him out. How long have you been doing this, Barber? Uh, I've been cutting hair since 2006. Why did you start? Uh, it's a funny story. So I let my cousin spring cut my hair and- Here? No, this was back in the States. Okay. Right and uh, maybe I was like 17, 16. And she messed it up bad, like it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And I had another family member fix it. And it was like immaculate. So I asked him, like, hey man, can you teach me how to do that? And he taught me and I just stuck. And you know, this became my passion. I love doing this. I mean, this, this is my sanctuary. So, you know, I love helping people. I love, I love giving confidence to others. Okay. You know? And a haircut does a lot for a person's life. Um, but yeah. Says the man in dreads, continue. <laughs> But yeah, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I think it, you know, it changes people's lives, you know, and I feel like I'm offering a place where people can come and hang out and talk and, you know, network, meet new people and, you know, just overall, you know, have a good time. So that's what I'm about. Okay, that's... Arigatou gozaimashita. What should you say after that? Mm -hmm. I said arigato. Alright, do touch my After leaving from Abdul, I went to Destiny. And, you know, I had a little girl chat. She didn't want to be on camera, and I just wanted to have some FaceTime with my girl because I don't see her that often. But we did have, we did catch up, and I collected some things from her as well. After leaving Yokosuka, I went, I came back to my station, and I went to 7-Eleven. Cause y'all know me by now. I've been telling. I've been telling everyone about the 7-Eleven curry pan. So I went by to 7-Eleven and I got me two 
because we never go and buy one i'm going to cook i'm going to be doing some sweet and sour chicken but i'm really hungry i haven't had anything since breakfast but i wanted to also show you guys some of the other things that i got from the supermarket i got pineapple of course because pineapple is not only my favorite fruit but it's needed for a sweet and sour chicken um i got some grapes how, how much did i pay for it i paid 333 yen that's about three dollars for this small ass container of grapes fruits in japan are expensive um this pineapple wasn't too bad i think the price has decreased because i was paying like 600 something yen which is like seven dollars us i paid maybe five dollars 500 something us dollars so it, the, the price fell a little bit um i really wanted to try this particular fruit it's called persimmon i have never tried it in my life but i think it's in season right now it's not very popular it's i don't think i've ever seen this in jamaica i've seen it here but i've never actually tried it so i'm going to try this today hopefully and what else did i get from the supermarket oh yeah i have some carrots in the fridge so i got some broccoli to go with that as well because we have to get our fiber in. yeah and i also got some like sweet peppers for the sweet and sour chicken as well so it should be very festive i have my part time tomorrow i don't have a drop of rice in the house but this morning i ordered some basmati rice from amazon and i did the expedited scheduled delivery so it should be here between 8 to 12 8 p.m tomorrow morning so i'm going to do the students sour chicken from tonight so that come tomorrow all i have to do is focus on steaming the rice and i can go to work and come back and not have to worry about what i'm going to eat for lunch on monday so that being said i got a few things first of all i got me some grace cock soup i bought this from amazon or yeah i got this from amazon usa so i got me how many two four five five came in this um i've been looking forward to some soup so i'm excited to make some again to go let me make some space for y'all so i can record it's going to be an awkward angle but work with your girl all right so i know this is a very awkward angle to be filming from but in this box in these boxes come on Stacia let's use English we went to university for that these boxes are some browning I love how they're packaged these so it's it, it doesn't break so if you're a Jamaican you know the Schweppes we don't do we don't do white meat over here so this for those who aren't familiar with the product it's called browning in Jamaica we use it to add color to to meat and i know some people like to bro, um, burn sugar i ain't got time for all of that i do not have time for all of that i just buy the browning in the bottle it does the job it has been doing the job we're not going to change the formula over here we're going to stick to what works for us but if that works for you by all means do you that's all i'm saying this was not off of the internet i actually had one of my friends um get this off base for me so it's the tide pods and i got this because for me this is way more effective um a cost effective than buying the ones that i used to buy from the regular japanese supermarket so i got one of my friends on base to get this for me this lasts me so much longer and i feel like it's more pungent if you know me i'm a scent girl i like my house smelling good i like my clothes smelling good i like smelling good right so i like when my clothes naturally smell good and then when i add my own fragrance to that it takes it to the next level yeah i'm that girl so this is 72 count it says it's three in one but of course i'm going to i also add um laundry detergent because i like my clothes be smelling good and this is this is this is the, the real deal so if you have or if you have someone who can get things are based for you girl do that first of all my friend went to jamaica and she gave me this one when she came back and this right here i made brown stew chicken and added this to it listen listen the past two years i have not been cooking i have not been cooking for the past two years until this came into my life like i didn't realize how much the seasoning from back home elevated the flavor of everything 
until I started using that. So I went on Amazon and I found this right here. So this is the all-purpose seasoning. Of course, you can use it on everything because it's all-purpose. But you know, I even if it didn't say all-purpose, I would use it on whatever I feel like using it because I spent my money and no one's going to tell me what to do with my money. Anyways. So I also got this here. This jerk seasoning. Listen. My rice and peas are going to turn up. My rice and peas are going to turn up because in Jamaica I used to love adding like jerk seasoning to it and it also has if I'm not mistaken the pimento grains in there so rice and peas not go normal it not go normal I'm hyped about cooking right now y'all y'all do not even know the half of it last but not least I also got this edge control right here um, in our last vlog, I told you guys that, let me take this, this thing off of it. I told you guys that the one that was sent to me by my sister from America, I don't know what it is about this one, but when I put it on my edges, I have my edges stay on all day. It don't move. It don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. It don't move. Focus on me, please. Yes. It just, it, it don't move at all. So I got this. Sadly, I, I don't think they have it in a bigger size. If they did, I would definitely get it. But I'm going to leave a link to this specific one in the description bar below. So if you're interested in getting this one, you can. But yeah, my chicken needs to be seasoned. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think there's anything much to talk about for this vlog in and of itself except to say thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button because that is paramount that you, you guys have been watching the video and I love that for me I love that for you too but go ahead and hit the like button subscribe and shout out to Jamie for shouting me out in her previous one of her previous videos. I've gotten a few subscribers from her channel. Shout out to the people who are new here. In the meantime, guys, it is 5.34. And I want to get the cooking out of the way so that tomorrow I'm all good and set. And I can go and take a shower and relax. Love you guys for watching. Bye-bye.